I am very happy right now. One sec, one sec. Yes, that is the first good coffee I have had since Thursday. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Claude, for delivering this to me here at the front desk. I didn't even ask for it. You offered, and uh, and I didn't really want to make you go buy it for me. I felt a little bad, but you kept insisting, and uh, you brought it anyways, and not only this, you brought me breakfast and Timbits. What's the weather like outside today? The window's wet but I don't think it's raining. No, it's not raining, and if it is, it's very light. We can walk. We can walk. We got two legs and a heartbeat. Where's, the, where's my phone? What's the time? The alarm clock in here doesn't work. What's the time? I'm just, I was just cleaning everything up. I know I had my phone in here. Diesel, have you seen my phone? Got my hat. That's something. Here it is. What's the time? Got to be checked out by 11. Okay. Diesel, we better pack up all our stuff here, okay? Well, it might be a little bit of a damp walk. But that's okay. A little water never hurt anybody. Mmm. Oh boy, that was aggressive. That was my last sip, I was very excited. Okay, spilled it all over myself. What am I, like five years old? Okay. I'm actually 12 for the record. Oh, spilled coffee all over myself. I didn't actually mean to do that. <laughs> I was just gonna capture my last sip before I left. Oh. It's not too long of a walk. I need it. I, I like it. It's a good excuse for a walk. Don't feel bad for me. It's okay. You probably didn't feel bad for me, did you? Probably laughing at me. <laughs> no, I choose to do this. We gotta go around the long way too. No short no shortcut today, because I got my bags and stuff. I can't carry them through the bush. I gotta roll it behind me. Alright, Diesel. You ready to go? Got everything in in my big bag here. Got my dirty laundry attached on there. I may look like a homeless person walking through New, Brun New, New, New Brunswick here, but don't worry, I'm okay. I'm expecting at least two people to stop and ask if I'm okay. People are just so nice here. I know, Diesel, I know. You're whining and whining. You wanna get going, I know. The truck's not ready yet, okay? We can't leave right away. Okay, but we can go to the truck. The uh, the parts aren't here yet. They're supposed to get here at like two to three o'clock apparently. But hopefully they come today. I'm gonna go sit in the truck anyways and hang out in there. And uh, if it's uh, gonna take till tomorrow, I guess we'll just sleep in the truck tonight. I don't need another motel unless if they offer me another night uh, back home, but I don't mind sleeping in the truck if it's just gonna be one more night than I then I'm there tomorrow. I want to be there the second that the truck rolls out and is ready to go and everything, the bill's taken care of and everything, so that I can go. I would like to get close down to New York tonight yet. It's going to be late, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to find parking, but if, if they're only starting at like 3 o'clock, that means I'll probably only be leaving at like 6 p.m., which means I'm not going to make it through Maine. I'll probably make it close down to southern Maine. Whatever, we're going to get as far as we can. I'm driving late into tonight, so let's go to the truck. Got a little bit of a hike. It's four kilometers going around the long way. It's about three miles. It's not too bad. Believe me, I can use it. I have been getting fat again. Uh, you know what? And it's okay. It happens. We'll just deal with it. We'll bring the weight back down. And uh, you just got to stay on top of it, right? Hopefully. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. Diesel, you ready to go or what? Let's go. Gotta hook you up to your uh, your leash here. A 
I'm really glad I got this bag on wheels now. I guess I should push that. It really helps out a lot. I got my toque there, I got my gloves in case it gets a little chilly. Diesel, all my stuff. Got my head, good thing it's attached or I forget that too. Come on bud. In we go to the magic room. All right, and you push a button, the door closes, and when it opens, we'll be somewhere else. Ooh, like magic. Well, I didn't get more than five minutes, and a nice couple pulled over and insisted to give me a ride. The mayor times that you just keep giving. You just keep giving. <laughs> she insisted. Her and her husband, I believe that was her husband or boyfriend or husband, I'm guessing. Uh, they had dogs too and they were totally fine with Diesel riding in the car. They let me in there and uh, they uh, gave me a ride over to Peterbilt here and saved me from getting completely soaked. I got a little bit wet, but I would have done it. I would have walked the whole way, but they insisted. So once again, the Maritimes of Canada, what a happy place. What a happy, what great people here, you know? So thank you so much to the anonymous couple that gave me a ride so I didn't have to walk in the rain. Insisted on giving me a ride in a nice way, not like in a creepy way, like, oh, you have to get in the van. No, they, they were very, very nice about it. <laughs> All the people out here, you know what? If we ever move out east, I can tell you what, we're gonna go past Ontario and Quebec, we're gonna come to the Maritimes. But uh, that's, in all honesty, probably won't happen because home is where my heart is and where my family is. And I love Manitoba. And you know what? We're not so bad. We're not so different. We're pretty friendly there too. Uh, it's just a bit of a different, different feeling. Anyways, enough gushing over the good people of the Maritimes here. Uh, we're still waiting here now for uh, the, the part to come in. Should be coming in here, I'm waiting for, uh, I'm guessing, Pure later, or FedEx, or UPS or something. But if they don't come in here, they have an order of a whole bunch of parts, not just mine that are showing up. Uh, my part got flown in from the US. I made sure that it was coming, and they said it will be here around three o'clock. So it's 1.30 right now, we're in the truck here. Um, just letting the batteries charge up a little bit here, getting the truck warmed up a little bit. Uh, won't run it for too long. Uh, but we're here at the shop anyways and doing a little bit of detailing back here I just cleaned out underneath my bunk you know it's one place where we forget to clean a lot I think a lot of dust gets uh, gathered up underneath there just clean that out and I'm just cleaning out the side here now and I'll keep going until the part gets here so maybe we'll have a completely detailed truck by that time at least it'll smell lemony fresh quite literally I just saw a courier leave. It wasn't FedEx or UPS or any big one like that, but it was some kind of something, something. It said courier on it and it was a big box truck. I wonder if they had my parts. If the parts don't come today, I'm, I'm gonna ask them if they could take the part off one of the trucks in their yard here and then get me going and then they can put the new part on their truck. That would have been nice if I would have thought of asking them to do that on Thursday or Friday. I don't know if they would have done that or not, but that would have helped me a lot. I could have been on the road already, but we'll see. I'm going to go check to see if that was my part. Okay, hold on one minute here. Hold on one minute. The code disappeared. The code is gone. Are you kidding me? I've been starting the truck up just to keep the batteries full because I'm using power in the back there and stuff. And the code just disappeared now. The truck looks like it's perfectly fine. Are you kidding me? What in the world? Let's, let's check this out. Driver performance, warnings and faults. No warnings. What? It dropped the code. I wonder if that means I'm still in danger of derating, derating, whatever the want Can you imagine? If I would have, you saw the code, right? I showed it on the video. Can you imagine if I stayed here the whole weekend just for the code to disappear as my part arrives? I'm gonna go talk to them about this. One second. This is fishy. 
This is fishy. Oh, I got something in my eye now. Okay, it's gone. What in the world? So you're telling me that the code just disappeared. Oh, it's windy out here. It's windy. Yikes. I'll talk to you guys in the truck. Woo -wee. Diesel. It wasn't ours. That wasn't ours. That was the Moncton Courier. We're waiting for the courier coming from the airport. The airport courier. And, oh, it smells like lemons in here. Oh, yeah. I love having a nice, clean truck. Anyways, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the code's gone, and I told them that. I said, now my truck thinks it's okay. But obviously there's an issue. Could maybe just be wiring at this point, but it could be a faulty sensor. If it threw a code once, chances are it's gonna throw the code again. So they're gonna take it into the shop, look it all over once the part gets here. And we'll probably have to replace the part anyways. I'm thinking that's what they'll do. I don't know, they're the mechanics. They'll decide what to do. I just don't want it to do that again. Because the, the fear would be that you know, I'm going to get an hour or two down the road and it's going to throw the code again and it's going to start derating my engine again and then I'll be stuck in another motel but at least the part will be here, right? I, I, I'd be able to get it fixed quicker but I might be stranded on the side of the road then too. So I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of frustrated like electronics and emissions on trucks. Everybody hates them. But you know we got to save the planet. Like I said on Thursday, saving the planet. One breakdown at a time. And I get it, you know, the emission systems, it does help. It does a, it does a big, make a big difference. But man, does it cause a lot of problems. Oh, there comes a box truck. Is that, is that him? Is that him? Is it you? Do you have my sensor? Is he turning here? Is he turning here? Nope. He said it was either going to be Pure Later or uh, FedEx. One of the two. I guess we'll just keep waiting. Well, I'm gonna pull it up to door six. My part isn't going to be here until tomorrow or maybe the next day. They told me it would be Monday. All of you is my witness. So I took your advice from the comment section. Thanks guys. Uh, I asked them if they could take a sensor out of one of the trucks they got here on the lot and put it in this truck. And then when they get the sensor that's coming late, they can put it back on their truck and then at least I can get going today because my load needs to get down to Georgia. It's already been running three days late. Probably more than that by the time I get out of here. So we're gonna pull it up to the shop and they're gonna do the switch. They're gonna put a good sensor on here, double check everything, make sure that everything's working good. And then we'll be on the road, hopefully with no further issues. Cancel that. No, they're not going to be able to take a sensor off one of their trucks here and put it on this truck because apparently this is a warranty job and warranty doesn't cover a used sensor because it's a used sensor that they have here. Don't they have a sensor on one of their new trucks here? Like, they say I gotta wait till tomorrow afternoon now. Well, I parked the truck here again and I'm going to test it out a little bit to see if this sensor is going to trip the code again. I'm kind of thinking it will, I don't trust it. If it went off once, that usually means that it's, you know, on its way out, it's gonna fail again. So far, so good. I'll take a look at it. I'm gonna take it, uh, down the block and back and see what happens but it looks like uh, looks like they're gonna want to replace the part anyways here I'll I'll take it for a spin and if the code pops back on then we know that uh, it needs to be replaced okay. well we've got no error codes popping up here. I don't know what's going on. I bet you anything, as soon as I hook onto the trailer and get onto the highway, the code will pop up again. 
That's what I mean, man. The, these electric, these electronics and stuff. Hey, what in the world? I'll get a hold of the shop, see what they want me to do. But the, the part's already been ordered. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna wanna replace it anyway. Turn back in here into Peterbilt. I was just bobtailing here. I didn't hook up or anything. But I wanted to see if the code would pop back on if I got the wheels running. I'll see what they say. I see it. I see that I got an email from our shop here already. I'll pull in here and uh, see what they said. All right, let's see what they said. Let them know what was happening. Yeah, it's not normal function. Okay. So I'm just gonna confirm that they want me to stay here and get it replaced anyway and not risk it and leave. It's, it's their call, it's not my call. I'll do whatever they say. Okay, so. They still want me to stay here till tomorrow, something like that. I don't know what to say. All right, so I'm gonna say all codes and faults are gone, but I'm guessing you would like, I spelled like wrong, like me to get it replaced nonetheless. It could pop back on again right away and derate me. Let's see what they say. I believe they said it was on warranty too. I believe they said it's a warranty fix. And if it's on warranty, then they should fix it and the fault is in the system. Even if the fault disappears off my dash here, it doesn't disappear out of the computer system in here. They can go in there and they'll see the history of it and they'll know. They saw it themselves with their own eyes last Thursday, but even if they wouldn't believe me, they'd be able to see that it has been acting up, they'll replace it under warranty. Okay, so I will send that off to the shop. Send. I really like that I can communicate with everybody back at the office and shop through email because that's the, the quickest way for me to get a hold of them because if you get them on the phone that holds them up they gotta stop what they're doing pick up the phone talk to you and you know they might have other things to do if I send them an email they can sort of get to it as soon as they can as soon as they got a free second they'll take a look at it and then they can find the answer and then get back to me in two seconds send it away and then get back to what they're doing I find that to be a lot easier I, I think it's better for them and it's better for me too, I mean. Just wanna confirm that they want me to uh, remain here and get this fixed. Don't wanna step on, any, step on any toes now, you know, I don't wanna step on anybody's toes. I'll do whatever they tell me to do. They want me to risk it and go down the road? Okay, well, they're paying for the tow. If, if it pops back up again. And I joke around about, ooh, save the planet one breakdown at a time. But I understand, like, like I said before, these emission systems do help emissions a lot, a lot. Like you could breathe the air coming right out of the stacks for the most part, it's just water vapor. It, it does a really good job to filter it. These trucks run cleaner than your car. Very close to it anyways. I was told they run cleaner and I'd believe it because, because they don't, emit like they used to like when you used to idle overnight and then you start driving the next day blue smoke would just pour out of your stacks right because all that crud was burning off it's not good to idle a diesel engine very long <laughs> so you want to idle as little as possible hard on the engine uh, but now instead of like shooting all of that crud into the air burning it off in the morning it all gets caught up in these filters and this whole emission systems and it's a big pain in the butt for us drivers and for the people even more so for the people who got to pay to get these things fixed and there's so many sensors sensing this and sensing that and once a sensor tells the truck that there's something wrong it'll shut the whole truck down just in case you know to save the motor i understand it's a safety feature that's probably saved tens of thousands of dollars for people in the past by not blowing their engine or something you know it's just it's just not very nice to have to deal with it. It's very inconvenient. So yeah, I, I let the shop know that the codes disappeared on here, that the sensor seems to be working again. 
for now. And uh, I want to get their go-ahead. They already cleared me for another night at the motel. But I wanted to be uh, uh, honest with them. I wanted to tell them what was going on. Here's the here's the response. Let's see what he says. See what he says. What do he say? He says yes. It's a warranty fix. Replace it. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're going back to the motel. One more night. Hopefully, just one more night. <laughs> Hope the parts get here tomorrow. I don't know what's going on, but you know, with everything going on in the world, everything's sort of moving at a little bit of a slower pace. And it it goes down all of the all the way down the hill. Like the snowball rolls all the way down the hill like this because now my customer waiting in Georgia is waiting on this load. And uh who knows if they send another truck to come pick this up. I've got a kingpin lock on it, so they're gonna have to get a hold of me to unlock the kingpin because I'm not hooked up to it. But uh there's that and then my load that was going back home has probably been given to someone else already and they're gonna have to find me a different load for that it's like because we plan ourselves weeks in advance right as far as we can anyways dispatch does a really good job like they are phenomenal the people who deal with with uh, me for the most part <laughs> and keep me moving and all the people like me they do an incredible job I'm not trying to suck up to them right now. I don't even know if they watch my videos or not. I'm pretty sure they do, but they do an incredible job. They're always in great communication with you. They always respond as quickly as they possibly can, which doesn't usually take long. They're on top of it. They always remember where you are. They don't forget about you, even though sometimes it feels like they forget about me. But no, you check in on them and know they're working on something. And they never make me sit long when I'm on the road. Whenever I'm sitting for a long time like this, it's because of something like this. It's out of everyone's control. And that's why I'm happy doing what I'm doing. You know, you keep people happy, they'll stick around. There's been people that have tried to pull me away and, you know, offered me pretty uh, tempting positions and pay rates. And, uh... <laughs> I've had several offers that people want me to work for them and they, they would pay a pretty penny. But you know what? The atmosphere in the workplace goes a long way. And it's it's hard to duplicate that. I'm sure there are many other great working places to work out there. Many great ones. But I mean, where I'm at and the people I deal with every day, the people who find me my loads, the people who uh, make sure these trucks stay running and get me fixed and get me running and everything when I'm out here, all of them are great people. I don't know where they found them, but they, they must have scoured the earth for the best people because uh, I really believe they're the best. So anyway, 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 back to the motel. I got some TV to watch. No, 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 we're not turning the TV on again tonight. We tried that last night. We turned the TV on. We ended up on the news. <laughs> not doing that again tonight. No, nope. we're going to go and watch some Netflix. Then I can pick what I watch. Looks familiar, doesn't it? It's actually a completely different room. But it looks exactly the same, doesn't it? Just clean. <laughs> yep, so I guess we're gonna set up here for another night. Uh, they won't know if the part's gonna be here till about three o'clock tomorrow. So who knows how long this is gonna turn out to be. At least I got a nice place to stay and a nice town to stay in, right? Everybody here seems to be all right. I know there's a couple of black sheep and bad ducks in every town. And uh, you know, every person around here that I've talked to, I've said, you know, people seem to be so kind and nice here and I really appreciate it. And uh, they've all said the same thing. Like, yeah, for the majority, you know, the culture here is really nice. We try to treat everybody with kindness, but there's always that one. They always say, so there's at least a few duds out here people who don't exactly live up to the standards. Everybody says there's at least one. <laughs> I haven't met them yet. So everyone I've met has been really nice. All right, so I wanna play a quick little game with you, okay? Now this room is very, very similar to the last one I was in, right? I'm gonna show the whole room from here. There's one thing that's different about this room. Can you spot what's different? Do you remember? Were you watching the vlogs? How good a memory do you have, okay? without going back to watch yesterday's video or the day before the day before when I was in the other room. What's different about this room? 
Do you see it? There's actually two things. There's two things different. All right, pause it and see if you can figure it out. All right, did you pause it? This is your last chance to pause it if you want to play the game. Go back and see if you can see what's different, all right? There's two things. Okay, here we go. Number one, there's no coffee maker there. It's over here. Number two, there's a door here. Where does it go? Who knows? Well then. <laughs> I guess uh, if we wanted to have a, a party, we could rent the two rooms and then have these doors open and it's sort of like one big room, right? If you wanted to stay here with your family or something, you know, maybe kids in one room, parents in one room, then you can still get back and forth, but I, we have it locked now. So yeah, there's, those two things are different about this room. Other than that, everything is pretty much identical, just cleaner. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, this is the next morning. I'm just gonna wrap this up for you really quickly and give you a little bit of a hint at tomorrow's video. The part has arrived. So I'm headed over there right now. Tune in tomorrow. We'll be back on the road.